India's cabinet has just cleared the Citizenship Amendment Bill, which seeks to provide Indian nationality to non-Muslim refugees from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. And it will now be tabled in Parliament next week for approval by both houses. Opposition parties have expressed discontent over what they see as the discrimination in the bill against the Muslim community. But the government stresses that it is meant to help persecuted minorities from neighboring countries. Our correspondent Niha Punia, uh, Niha, Niha Punia tells us more about that. Uh, Niha, uh, tell us then, why is this amendment bill being passed now? For a year now, the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party has been trying to get this bill passed, which essentially proposes that uh, any non-Muslim refugee from any country that neighbors India would be granted immediate citizenship if they were to seek that. And uh, it's faced a lot of opposition in Parliament, not in the lower house so much, which is where the BJP has had a complete majority for the last five years, but in the upper house of Parliament, where it didn't have the numbers to push this bill through. So what happened was uh, you had the previous session of Parliament, where uh, this bill didn't pass the upper house and it lapsed, which is why the cabinet has now taken it up again and it will be retabled in parliament. Um, the BJP issuing a whip to all of its members of parliament, asking them to be present in parliament next week. And we're given to understand that the party has told its parliamentarians that this bill is on the same priority level for the party as the Kashmir bill was, which essentially stripped that region of its uh, special status earlier this year. That bill was also controversial, but the BJP managed to push that through with help from certain regional parties. And the sense is that this time around, it might also be able to do that for this bill as well. So what does it mean for the Muslim versus the non-Muslim communities? That's where the controversy arises essentially because uh, prior to this bill, your religion was immaterial if you wanted citizenship uh, for India. Uh, all you had to do was prove that you'd lived in the country for 11 years. But what the BJP is saying now that if you're a non-Muslim from any of the neighboring countries in the subcontinent, you simply have to live in India for six years, prove that, and you will be granted citizenship. Many critics say that this is closely linked to that citizenship test that the BJP conducted in the northeastern state of Assam earlier this year, uh, where two million people were left out of that final list of citizens. The criticism is that many of those who, who were left out were Hindus, and the BJP is trying to get them on that list uh, through the back door by using this particular citizenship bill. The BJP, of course, denying that allegation, saying that we're simply excluding Muslims from this proposal because they aren't being persecuted in our own back. All right, thanks for that. Neha Punya speaking to us on India's Citizenship Amendment Bill, speaking to us from New Delhi.